What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ben, your host. So today when it comes to macOS Sequoia, I'll be happy to let you know that we now have another update. And as you can see right there, this is Sequoia 15.2 developer beta 3 that I'm updating to. If I click on the more info tab right there, you can see the update size on my MacBook Pro. It comes in at 2.4 gigs and I was updating from the previous beta. And this is not all that Apple released today. You can see they also released least watch OS 11.2 beta 2 tv os 18.2 beta 2 mac os 15.2 beta 3 of course this is the video for that and ios and ipad os 18.2 beta 3 most of these videos i do cover here on the channel so definitely do subscribe so that you don't miss out let me quickly now update my device and then we're going to see some of the new features and changes that this update has to offer my device has been updated among other recently updated applications such as the apple developer among others and now if i go into the system settings right here and go to see the new build number and space being taken up by apple intelligence you can see right there 24c 5079e so it does end with an e and apple intelligence is taking up 5.8 gigs for me on my macbook pro now let's talk about some of the new features and changes that this update has to offer the first one if you open up the apple tv application for the first time I'll just center it right here. You can see we have a new splash screen that's telling you what's new in Apple TV and it tells you about new trailers experience where you can swipe through trailers and add what you like to your watch list and it also highlights watching sports together on FaceTime with friends and family using SharePlay. The SharePlay portion of it was available but the new change here is the sports section that has been reframed or reworded in a way. In the messages application the message color significant highlights are back so before the color would look throughout irregardless of which message is in focus but you can see right now through my chat with Aaron from Zolotech right here you can see the message that's in focus has a more rich contrasting blue color as compared to the others and if I was to go to like this one for example you can see how the color changes and this is something that used to be there and was removed but is gladly brought back which is appreciated. Another recent update has to do with the Find My that has been recently upgraded by Apple and Mac OS Sequoia also benefits and this Apple's Find My enables users to share their location of lost items with third parties. This is going to work on iOS 18.2 and Mac OS 15.2 of course and users can now share a secure link to the location of an AirTag or find network accessory with others and soon with airlines so if you have a lost item or something that you are trying to find then you can always go into your find my application on mac os and it will allow you to now be able to share an air tag irregardless of its state even if it's in lost mode you can share its location with airline or the police and they'll be able to help you to be able to recover your air tag and you can see here it supports a wide range of devices such as the iphone the ipad and of course as we are covering Mac OS with Mac OS Sequoia 15.2, this is something that you're going to benefit from. In the Apple Messages application, gen emojis created on iOS 18.2 are available for selection on Mac OS 15.2 and also your other related stickers too will be available for selection and something that i notice here is if you copy and paste a gen emoji created on the iphone and you paste it on the mac os it's going to be looking bigger and larger than that which was created on ios also something that has always been available but i didn't actually mention it on mac os 15.2 is that when you click on the plus icon in messages right here and you go to image playground it allows you to utilize and be able to create different images using image playground which is something that's cool now for me when i select this for the first time you can see i get an error and a blank message like this and this is the second time that this has happened so i'll have to test it out and get to see what the issue is an unfortunate change that a number of users have reported after updating is the fact that after updating to this version image playground seems to become unavailable for them but for me you can see i still have the ability to describe images and create 
images using image playground which is good but maybe restarting your device as recommended might fix that bug or issue for you this update also introduces something new in terms of screen mirroring and airplay option for sharing more of a limited information so for example if i extend my display to my apple tv 4k third gen right there you notice it's extended but now i can go to choose content right here and this gives me the ability to choose whether i want to share the entire screen or whether i want to share a window or an app or basically just use my apple tv as an extended display and this is something that's new as compared to the options we used to have before limiting airplay to a specific app allows a presentation or photo to be shared to a larger screen of a tv without allowing other users to see the other contents of the mac the older version of mac os allowed for mirroring a mac's display to an apple tv but there was no option for sharing just a portion of the display window or an application as you can see and this is good to see that apple has added this for added privacy and gives users more options now another option that has recently been added is that when you plug an iphone to your mac using a cable it now allows you to authenticate using face id and not just your mac's passcode or your iphone's passcode rather which is something that has been improved and is appreciated something that's cool with my new airpods pro that are recently acquired when i open in the case it brings a pop-up that tells me or gives me the option to respond to Siri by moving your head when wearing AirPods either to accept and respond to Siri and different notifications and with the previous update I had the ability to be able to see my AirPods battery and my case percentage but after updating to this new version that we have today those options are now gone and if I close my case like this you can see if you give it a few seconds my battery here disappears and at the same time my case percentage also doesn't show up which is sort of an unfortunate thing but i really enjoyed it on the previous version so apple if you can bring this back that would be great something that has also been updated is the max displayed resolution when using the apple vision pro as a monitor and it's amazing to see that it now also supports ultra wide and apple is enhancing the resolution of the virtual mac display with this update and the latest vision os beta when low power mode is turned on like this and you click in the top menu bar you can see when accessing the menu bar it shows the color when activated which is there on the previous update but this time around it just seems more prominent in terms of the release notes right here you can see when it comes to this update apple doesn't really make a lot of changes compared to the previous version and right here you can see some of the resolves issues that have to do with the authentication services resolved issues with chat gpt integration which i tested and it seems to be okay and some nsw writing tools coordinator that have been resolved and there's also a resolved issue with a time machine that would cause panic at attacks and apple recommends unplugging it and replugging it back and some of the resolved issues right there with swift ui so this is how the update came in for me on my macbook pro but in terms of when this update could be coming out i'll be happy to let you know that we are actually not too far off so maybe the next beta that we get will be a beta for on the 18th of november and then on the 25th of uh, november right there we might get the rc release candidate version maybe we might get an rc2 later on during that week but the official release according to mark german is expected on december 2nd so that's when you can expect this update and get to try out the new updated image playground the chat gpt integration among other features with mac os 15.2 but other than that this is how the update came in for me if you like this video definitely hit like and subscribe and my name is ben and i'm signing off peace